Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I will be giving you my personal review on episode 14 of Our Sky 2, which is part 2 of Bad Buddy. I already did my review on episode 1 and 2, which is Never Let Me Go, 3 and 4, which is Star in My Mind, 5 and 6, which is The Eclipse, 7 and 8, which is Vice Versa, 9 and 10, which is My School President, 11 and 12, which is A Boss and a Babe, and episode 13, which is part 1 of Bad Buddy. Links are in the description below, so without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so we left off with Fufa fating. So apparently Fufa skipped breakfast because Yod radioed him to meet up with him to meet Pran. I'm not good at reading rooms, but I feel like they are in a relationship argument. Yep, they're in a relationship argument. What has Pran walked himself into? Oh, he's a teacher. I did say I was going to make my confession about their story next week, but let me just make it now. I have not watched Tales of a Thousand Stars. Tian is teaching, but because Pran is there, the children are not focusing and wants to know who Pran is. Oh lord, the kids are sending misunderstandings and claiming that Pran is Fufa's boyfriend. They're looking for a kid named Kampong and Pran found him. I guess Kampong is a troublemaker. Pran told Tian that the real reason he's here is that he came across his story of A Tale of a Thousand Stars online and because he could not get in touch with him, he came to him in person and is asking for permission to use his story to a play. Now that Pran gets the okay, all that left is for Tian and Fufa to sign the papers making it official. The reason he asks for both signatures is because the story is about them. But because Tian and Fufa having a couple's argument, it's going to be a problem getting it signed for a while. Pran asks Tian what's going on with him and Fufa and it turns out that because Tian has to go home to celebrate his birthday with his parents and Tian do it every year so this time Tian asks Fufa to go with him but Fufa doesn't want to. Pran then asks Tian if Fufa ever read the story he wrote and Tian said Fufa doesn't even know he wrote it. Pat is here! He came out with style, plus he got lucky he gets to drive all the way instead of walking. It's like Pat and Pran are in the same kind of situation as Tian and Fufa, which can simply be fixed. How did you know that? Did you guys talk on the way up? I know you see that Pat and Pran are not just friends, Tian. Tian, you spoil this man. This man can't do nothing without you. I can tell. They finally told him about Tian's story and why they are there. And looking at Fufa's face, he's not happy. Tian, I guess you should have asked permission before using Fufa in your story. Fran gave Fufa a copy of the story and he is reading it. He's smiling. Is that a good sign? Are you going to get the signature or not? Fufa said the story is wrong because it doesn't show him doing his work but it shows him being madly in love. Even though Fufa read the story, he still says no. But Tian said they can use it because he's the writer. That's a good one. Can Pran make the lovebirds make up before one week, not in one week, and will he get the signature? That's the question. This is cute. I want one. Whatever you call it, I want one. Sometime I want to punch Pat. Pran is trying to get Fufa in a good side and also make him see the bigger picture in Tan's story. But Pat came and just make it all worse. Kampong seems a bit lost. Is he lack of friends or what? Students were to draw Pran, but the student wants someone who is more body built. So Pran asked if they want Fufa, and they all said yes. But it seems Pat has other ideas. 
Um, I'm not gonna lie, you lost weight. So that body build you think you have just turned into sexy abs and muscle. So in order for Pran to get a signature from any one of them is to get the other to admit who falls in love first. The frustration on Pran. Just to do one play, it's getting difficult. Pat said they should go by the story and figure out who really falls in love first. It's bringing back when they ran away and they were playing in the beach. That's another deja vu. Oh my god, Jesus! Oh, I like this. You a lie, it's 50 50. You telling me Fufa's body is better than Pat's? I seen Earth's body and it's. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's move on. Yes! I was wondering if there were gonna be any kisses because I was ready to fight somebody. Yes, we need another honeymoon trip or a honeymoon something. Oh my god, see, see, Pat is romantic sometimes when he's ready. So Pat said he will help Pran with his work and play even though his play won't be done. Pat said he doesn't care if his boyfriend is in trouble, he's willing to drop everything. You see the size of Om's arm? Wrap them around me too, please. Please tell me it's my dirty mind and he didn't really mean what he said he meant. So Pat asked Pran that since he studies architecture, can the house withstand the shakes? Oh my god, it is dirty mind! Pat wants to give Pran some loving tonight. Kampong is a sweet kid, he's more of a lone wolf but a sweet kid. I swear this kid has more game than Pat and Pran. And if Pat and Pran wants Tian and Fufan to be on their good side, they need Kampong. Now it's up to Pat to convince Fufa by saying Tian invites him to karaoke. I was trying so hard to figure out where I saw this man from. And now I know, it's from Ugly Duckling Perfect Match. I could be wrong. Please comment below if I'm wrong or right. I want to hear their voice before I get shocked by GMM TV with their OST for their two special episodes. They don't want to sing, so Pran went to calm them, but instead Pran was given the mic to sing. Good thing Pran can sing. Tian is drunk. Who said mission was impossible? They were bonding a second ago until they looked at the letter. I don't get it. I get why Tian wants to go to his family with Fufa on his birthday, but what I don't get is why Fufa don't want to go. Pat and Pran loves to play games, and they are very competitive. So for Pat to make a betting game with Fufa, let's see how it turns out. Oh, it's a drinking competition. Oh my god, Pran is not there to stop Pat at this foolishness. Tian says he can find evidence that Fufa fell in love with him first because he wrote it in his diary and buries it and he will go for it. Kampong, isn't it past your bedtime? Why are you still up listening to grown folks business? Why is he topless and who is he holding hands with? I'm screaming. Okay, let's magnifyingly analyze the body. I see Om um put more work into his workout than Earth, but they both got alpha body, so... <laughs> oh, okay, they ain't completely naked, thank God. Oh, so the tattoo on Earth's body is real? Wait, I'm confused. How far did Kampong went with Pran and Tian? I ain't no doctor, but if Tian has heart disease and taking pill for it, why the hell did he drink? I pray they're okay because they left things night and have not come back. Oh hell, they stopped it here. So you know what that means? Since it's a crossover, they will continue next week in A Tales of a Thousand Stars. 
Okay, guys, that is the end of my review on episode 14. Stay tuned for my review on episode 15, which is A Tale of a Thousand Stars. So, as always, if you like my review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye!